Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm here where it all started, Pompano Beach, Florida. I used to come here for two weeks vacation every year to visit my grandma and grandpa from Ohio and Indiana. Well, my grandma and grandpa are gone. Everything has changed around this pier area. There used to be houses next to the pier on the beach. Those are all gone. There's high rises and commercial buildings everywhere now. The development never ceases. But let's walk out on the pier and see if anybody is catching anything. That's what we're here for. Pompano Beach Pier. Nice little artwork on the benches coming in. Look at all the orchids. This is for people that love orchids. Hope you enjoy those. Things have changed. It used to cost a quarter to come out here and fish. Now it's six bucks. Lots of rules. No, no, no. Didn't know it, but the horse conch is the state shell of Florida. All right, so here's uh, a brand new picture board they've just started. That's why it's not full. But it looks like they're catching some snook and some tarpon off the, the pier here. We saw the sign, no shark fishing. I remember when I was a kid, they caught about an 18 foot hammerhead off the pier. So those kind of fish are around here. And uh, this lady is working hard today. What's your name? I'm Brooke. She's Brooke. She's here to take all your money. Yes. Cost six dollars to go fish. You can have three fishing rods. We're gonna walk out. It's free to walk out. We're gonna see what happens. Thanks, Brooke. No problem. See you later. All right. Check out the beach. Oh, there's the um, there's the lighthouse at Lighthouse Point. I've gone out fishing there many times. There's the pier in 2019. Kind of looks the same to me today. There it is in 1963. That's when we were coming down here. Pretty, pretty interesting place. Check out the beach, lifeguard stations, rescue sea -dews. Sea oats, they've got watering systems on them. Did you catch anything today? No bait, no nothing. First guy headed off, no bait, no nothing. Let's walk out here and see what's happening. Look at how calm the ocean is today. Wow. No diving or jumping. $500 fine. Really sandy bottom here. Let's walk out and see if there's anybody fishing. Unless he ate it already. Oh, he might have eaten it, right? He might have. Nope, there it is. Here he comes. He's coming to it. Keep it up by the surface. You'll be able to see him come. Because he followed it all the way up. There's a parrot fish, there's a barracuda, there's a file fish. Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm here with Valerie. She's out on the pier for her first time today. She's uh, caught a barracuda in the past. We've got some barracudas hanging out here under the pier. Maybe you can see them down there. I hope I don't drop my camera. And um, we saw a file fish and it's something else. Oh, there's a hound fish over here. Looks like a needle fish. It's coming in. Yep. They've got really sharp little teeth and they like really small hooks and really small baits. Okay, well I have a small bait. I don't have a real small hook. I have a circle hook on. Yeah. Um, but I'm always willing to change the hook. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you catch something, you know? <laughs> exactly. All righty, this young lady is using squid for bait. She's got a bobber out there. I see some fish around her bobber. Something might be messing with it. Oh yeah. There's a fish right with her bait. 
I see him. Yes. You see him? Yeah. That fish is still still following it. See him right there? There's three or four. You see them? They try, try, but not bite. Yeah, they have a small, those ones have a small mouth. All right. So bobber fishing with squid as bait. There's a barracuda swimming across over here. Hopefully he goes out there. Where's he going? He's headed your way. See him there? Oh yeah, he's turning towards the bait. This could be exciting. He's going right there. He's past it. Oh my. He was right there and swam past it. I hope he comes back. There's a little bait bucket with some live bait. What'd you catch? I have no idea, no idea what this fish is called, but some guy said it's good to eat, so I'm, I'm gonna eat it. He's pure white meat, and I think it's a margate. It's a margate? I believe that's the name of it. I'm not 100% positive myself. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a big head. Not a lot of meat back by the tail, but he's pretty broad up in the shoulder. Should be tasty. Yep. It'll be good eating. You will like him. You've had this before? Uh-huh. I have eaten them. All right, watch him turn. His other line is going off right now, so he's headed over to see what it is. Yep, somebody took a bite out of him. So I imagine you caught that hound fish and put him out as bait. And doesn't look like a barracuda to ate him though. Might be a crab. Something was tearing him up. Wow. Big fishing area out here. You catching anything out here? Houndies. Houndies? Needlefish. Yep. That's been it, really. Oh, man, look at all the bait here. And they're in and out. They've been here and not here, so. Wow. And that ought to bring something in. Yeah, there have been a few snook running around. Plenty of barracudas. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of barracudas. Yeah, I haven't even noticed anybody uh, pull up a snook yet. There you go, sabiki rig, fresh bait. Any pilchards? Yeah. All right, pilchards for bait. They were all over that sabiki. Yeah. Problem is the houndies are all over the baits. You gotta keep them really lively to try and get down under them before the houndies grab them. Deal. Yep, that hound fish got it. Well, I'm out here on the end of the pier with Steve. A couple of big cooters just taken off there. Yep. I, the bait fish are down here. The cooters are everywhere. Steve just caught a pilcher. He threw one in. The hound fish ate it instantly. We're hoping a snook comes along and eats this one. It's sitting out there on the bottom. Is that all rock out there? Uh, all the green stuff is sand, but yeah, the, yeah, but are rock, the yeah. colored spots are rock. Okay, I noticed a 
sign no shark fishing. When I was a kid, I saw him catch almost a 20 foot hammerhead here. Yeah. Oh, and they still do. They ignore that. <laughs> well, I hope you get one, Steve. Thank you. I'm showing people around the world how we fish. Oh, uh, there's the big barracuda down there. So he's fly lining a pilchard. Just dropped a sabiki rig down. Definitely some bait fish down there. Looks like he's hooked up what? with a couple already. What? Oh, there we go. This man knows how to catch his bait. Are you catching anything else today? Oh, I have no. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got mangrove over here? And and where's your mangrove? In this, do you mind? It's under the black bag. Okay. Did you catch it? You caught it? There he is, mangrove snapper. Good eating fish. Did you get him on live bait? No. It's dead on shrimp. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, this guy knows how to catch them too. Check it out, cousin Jim. Check it out. I was hoping somebody could be catching some big snook out here by now. Okay. When I was a kid, 40 years ago, on the shade side of this pier was always loaded with goggle eyes. And we would snag hook goggle eyes for bait. Okay. It's an interesting pier. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. You'll turn up on Cousin Jim. Okay, well, I'm going to look for it today. All right, the video will be up in a week. We're going to get some more bait. And then we're going to fish for some snook, Cousin Jim. You're going to get them. It's good to see that the bait's right here, easy to catch. Yeah. There they come. This guy's got some. It's been hit, hit or miss today. This is like the third school that's been hit. I'm going to go sit down over there in about a half hour. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. Yeah. All right. So everybody's catching bait right now. We've seen one mangrove picked up. Saw a big stingray. A bunch of barracudas. But so far, everybody's just catching bait. If you like what you saw in this video, hit the subscribe button. Follow me, Cousin Jim. Kind of interesting. In front of the uh, lifeguard station, they've got two red flags out for no swimming. There's a snook right up. In right almost to the no swimming area. I can just barely see him. He might show up, he might not.